Active Arts Theatre for Young Audiences was founded in 2004 because we wanted to bring fabulous stories to life for young audiences here in the Bay Area. We wanted to enchant young audiences with stories drawn from books, drawn from history, and what we have accomplished in our tenure is a three show season including a touring show as well as main stage performances where children can come with their parents, their grandparents, their Girl Scout troop, their birthday party, their, their class, their group of friends, their softball team, their soccer team, you name it, and enjoy a show together. Active Arts was founded by five company members. We met while we were all performing for an educational theater program, so we had a similar background and similar goals in our professional lives and we sort of looked around at the Bay Area and the world of theater for children that we were used to performing in and found that there really wasn't anything out there that met with what we thought should be a high quality program that was suitable for young children and for their families. I remember when some of the founding members were talking about active arts it was their passion to do theater for children and they wanted to do even more than what they already were doing in the theater world. We select our shows based on our age range. We try and find uh, stories that will attract audiences with children between the ages of 3 and 12. And all of our shows are always trying to entertain both the children in the audience as well as the adults. We find we think it's really important that when a child brings their parent to a show, we want them to leave talking about that show. What is it? I'm not sure, sir. Do you know number two? Oh, yes, sir, I know him very well. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> do you know number two? Do you know number two? Do I know what, sir? What it is. Some of the various jobs that I've done from act for Active Arts would be um, an actor in our shows in Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I've also performed in How I Became a Pirate. Um, I have done marketing. I have done um, our ever so exciting finances and dealing with our um, QuickBooks. I've designed all of the posters and uh, flyers and marketing materials. Kind of, you name it, done a little of it. I have been a part of the Parent Advisory Board for Active Arts. Uh, I have two small children, one daughter that's eight years old and another that's four. So sometimes when some material, there's questions about material, some of the board members or people that have been a part of the show have come and asked me my different thoughts or interpretations on any topic material or the length of the show. My children both go to a school where the arts is a large part of their curriculum. Uh, the arts is just so important for children to be able to use their imagination rather than just sitting down in front of a TV and having the TV talk back to them. Don't let the wind take it. Wow. It's like the kite's alive. The string is your leash, the kite your dog. Keep hold. Maybe we'll catch a phoenix. like James the Giant Peach, Little Women, all of these wonderful books that children are reading and bring them to life with songs, with dance, with visual elements including colorful sets and lights. I started as a resident lighting designer about three years ago. I love the sets. Um, they're always colorful. Um, the kids always seem to be engaged. Um, when I'm lighting I try to use uh, bright, colorful uh, gels. Well, when uh, Pirates came up, um, I was really excited to do it. My, my three-year-old son's very into Pirates, um, so while playing with him and the toys and the men, um, I started to get an idea of, uh, of colors and, and effects that I could use. Um, the set was amazing. Um, we had just a, a great uh, ship on stage. Um, I tried to light it with a lot of color and then I used uh, effects um, that were like rigging and ropes and you know the Jolly Roger that uh, is so famous on pirate ships. 
And all of this combines to create an exciting and imaginative experience for our audience. I started getting involved with active arts during the very first show that they ever produced, which was Heroes, which was a show that involved um, four characters and a lot of fantasy and fun. And ever since then, I've been in love with um, both performing and choreographing for the company. Uh, the character of Emperor Marcus reminded me a lot of myself, actually, when I was younger. Um, scared, of, scared of what people thought of me, and I think that's natural for a lot of young people. And so to be involved in a show that um, tackles that issue in such a fun way, in a musical way, in a way that engages kids, or uh, young people, was fun and magical. Um, meeting and greeting after active arts shows is really fun because you get to see all these young people in the audience who were just um, inspired by your performance. And so after the show, you get to go outside of the theater and give autographs, um, take pictures, and even inspire some young people to maybe, who, who might have a love of theater, to continue that in the future. So it's awesome. My favorite part is when, when the show's all over, um, they let us see the characters and let us get their autograph. I like that a lot because I get to um, say that they were really good and I like their character because they're funny and that stuff. Something that strikes me about all active arts shows is that they choose really thoughtful work um, and professional work. For example, The Emperor's New Clothes was, a, was one of the first musicals written by Stephen Flaherty and Lynn Ahrens who are um, a Broadway superstar duo. They've written shows like uh, Ragtime, Once on this Island. And so for a company like Active Arts to choose shows that um, represent quality work from big name Broadway uh, composers and writers and lyricists was just um, a really cool part of also being involved with a project that is geared towards young people. And incorporating using the book um, helps reinforce the message they just got out of the show. Today our audience has grown tremendously and it's exactly who we wanted to come see our shows in the first place. I see Active Arts' future as a large company with multiple venues where we are performing for children and their families. So across the Bay Area we hope to be in different locations so that we can reach as many people as possible. We are so excited to be starting our fifth anniversary season with such a tremendous show as Streganona. Uh, the Streganona piece is a musical with brand new music never been performed before, so we have the world premiere of this beautiful soaring score. And we also are going to be incorporating puppeteering, a lot of physical theater elements, the director would like to be using Commedia dell'arte as the inspiration and we're going to be having educational materials available for schools and on our website which will explain about Commedia dell'arte and the long history in the theater of that tradition. And Streganona as a whole is, it comes from such a, a beautiful storybook and Tommy De Paolo has done such an incredible job of creating this world and this beautiful character and we're honored to be able to put it onto the stage as we enter our fifth anniversary season.